ever wondered what secret Scotland hides in her tartan folds? Well, buckle up for a tour of lesser-known wonders. Scotland, a land of legends and romance, where ancient castles and impossibly beautiful landscapes blend seamlessly with the modern vibrancy of its cities. But beyond the well-trodden paths of Edinburgh, or the mythical lure of Loch Ness, there exist hidden corners of this magical land, waiting to be discovered. So, let's leave the beaten track behind and venture into the heart of Scotland, where the true magic lies. So are you ready to swap the crowded Edinburgh castle for the road less travelled? Buckle up, let's hit the road! First stop, the vibrant town of Falkirk, where the only thing taller than the tales are the Kelpies. Here in Falkirk, the landscape is dominated by two colossal horseheads standing 30 meters high. These are the Kelpies, the largest equine sculptures in the world, inspired by a mythological creature from Scotland's folklore. The Kelpies are more than just an art installation. They serve as a monumental tribute to the horsepower that was vital in the industrial past of Scotland. Beyond the Kelpies, Falkirk is home to a host of other attractions. The Falkirk Wheel, the world's only rotating boat lift, is a marvel of modern engineering. And the Antonine Wall, a lesser-known cousin of Hadrian's Wall, offers a glimpse into Scotland's Roman past. So if you ever find yourself in Falkirk, remember to keep an eye out for those giant horses. They're harder to miss than you'd think. Next, we're off to Craters Castle, where the only thing greener than the gardens is the resident ghost. Craythers Castle, with its towering turrets and sprawling gardens, is not just known for its architectural marvel, but also for its spectral inhabitant, the Green Lady. The Green Lady of Craythers Castle is a spectral figure that has been spotted by many, drifting through the ancient halls and rooms. It's enough to turn anyone a shade of envious green. And who knows? Maybe she's just looking for a little company. After all, it must get pretty lonely, haunting the same old castle for hundreds of years. So if you happen to run into our ghostly lady, perhaps you could offer her a little bit of your time. So, pack your bags and prepare for an adventure filled with history, beauty and a touch of the supernatural. Craith's castle promises a journey like no other. A tiny island with a big personality, the Isle of Muck. And no, it's not muddy. Welcome, my friends, to the smallest of Scotland's small isles, a place where time seems to stand still. This enchanting isle, despite its name, is anything but mucky. In fact, it's a paradise of clear turquoise waters, pristine sandy beaches and verdant rolling hills. The Isle of Muck is a haven for wildlife enthusiasts. From playful seals frolicking in the waves to majestic sea eagles soaring above, it's a veritable Noah's Ark. And let's not forget the breathtaking views. Every corner of this isle offers a new spectacle, whether it's the sun setting over the rugged coastline or the panoramic vistas from atop Bain Arine, the island's highest point. But what truly sets this gem apart is its warm and welcoming community, making it a home away from home. Who knew Muck could be so magical? And no, you won't need to bring your wellies. Next up, we delve into the depths of Smoo Cave. And no, it's not a new smoothie brand. Situated on the rugged coastline of Sutherland in the Scottish Highlands, Smoo Cave boasts a grand limestone entrance that could easily swallow a whole herd of Highland cows, if they were adventurous enough to try caving, that is. This natural marvel was formed over countless centuries by the relentless action of both sea and fresh water. But let's not forget the captivating stories that echo from its shadowy corners. Legend has it that the cave was once the eerie abode of a mythical beast, while another tale whispers of a highwayman using the cave as a hideout. Quite the history for a hollow in the rocks, don't you think? So whether you're a geology buff, a history fanatic or just plain curious, Smoo Cave is a must visit. So there you have it, Smoo Cave, the only place where the underworld meets fairy tale. Ever dreamed of a beach all to yourself? Sandwood Bay might just be the ticket. Picture the pure, untouched beauty of Sandwood Bay. Nestled in the far reaches of Scotland, this secluded beach is a bit of a trek, but boy is it worth every step. Now don't be fooled by the name. There's no Sandwood here unless you count the golden grains of sand under your feet. And one could argue, they're worth their weight in wood. The journey to the beach is like a mini-adventure. It's a four-mile hike through moorland and peat bogs. Sounds like fun, right? Well, bring your wellies just in case. 
Once you've conquered the path, you're rewarded with the serenity of the bay. It's peaceful, it's quiet, and the only chatter you'll hear is the whispering waves and the occasional seal. So if you're into sandy solitude and don't mind the occasional seal, Sandwood Bay is your paradise. Fancy a dolphin spotting adventure? At Moray Firth, it's just another Tuesday. Nestled in the northern Scottish Highlands, Moray Firth is a wedge of ocean that's a veritable playground for one of nature's most playful creatures, the bottlenose dolphin. Now you might be thinking, dolphins, in Scotland? And to that we say, aye. Not only do these charming creatures frolic in the Firth's waters, but they are also some of the largest and most spirited of their kind. You see, Scottish dolphins are like the highlanders of the sea, robust, resilient and full of life. And it's not just dolphins. Moray Firth is a hotspot for wildlife, with seals, otters and a myriad of birds calling it home. So grab your binoculars, pop on a warm hat and prepare for a wildlife spectacle like no other. Aye, who needs SeaWorld when you've got Moray Firth, right? Plockton, a postcard-perfect village that's more than just a pretty face. Nestled in the highlands of Scotland, this picturesque haven is a feast for the senses. Imagine strolling along the waterfront, the salty sea breeze tickling your nose as you admire the quaint cottages huddled together, their reflections dancing on the calm, clear waters. Plockton is a place where natural beauty meets timeless tradition. The village is embraced by lush hills and peppered with palm trees, an unexpected sight that's a testament to its unique microclimate. The locals' warmth matches the pleasant weather, and their stories add layers to the already vibrant tapestry of this charming village. No trip to Plockton is complete without indulging in its culinary delights. The village is known for its delectable seafood, fresh off the boat. From succulent lobsters to mouth-watering mussels, it's a seafood lover's paradise. And remember, in Plockton, it's not just the views that'll take your breath away, but also the mouth-watering seafood. Next, we venture into the Hermitage, a hauntingly beautiful forest. Don't worry, the only spirits here are the ones in your flask. This is a place where nature seems to have gone on a painting spree. It's a splash of green so lush that they might make emeralds jealous. And the waterfalls. They aren't just water tumbling over rocks, they're nature's symphony, each droplet playing its note. The Hermitage is a haven for wildlife too. You might see a red squirrel or two, and if you're really lucky, a pine marten going about its day. And let me tell you about the time a curious deer decided to join my picnic. It mistook my sandwich for an invitation. We had a good laugh about it later. Well, at least I did. So, if you're looking for that perfect forest bath, the Hermitage is your spa. Let's wrap up our journey with some rapid-fire hidden treasures that deserve a shout-out. First stop, the Fairy Pools. No, we're not talking about a secret spa for pixies, but a series of ethereal waterfalls on the Isle of Skye. They're so magical you'd half expect a unicorn to trot by while you're there. And remember, if you see any fairies, tell them we say hi. Next, we chug along to the Glenfinnan Viaduct. If you're a wizard at heart, you've probably seen this one before. It's the same railway bridge that the Hogwarts Express chugs over in the Harry Potter films. But muggles, don't fret. This place is still a sight to behold, with or without a magical train. Now let's hop on a time machine to the Ring of Brodga. This Neolithic henge and stone circle in Orkney is older than the pyramids and as mysterious as a locked treasure chest. Some say it's the work of giants. Others believe it's a cosmic calendar. Who's right? Well, that remains a mystery. We then take a detour to the secret herb garden. It's not just a garden, it's an experience. Here you can sip herbal tea, sniff lavender, and even take a beekeeping class. Who knew gardening could be so adventurous? Finally, we drift to the Falls of Few. It's not just a tongue twister, it's a waterfall where you can witness salmon leaping upstream. Imagine, fish literally flying. It's like nature's own version of an Olympic high jump. And let's not forget the Kiraying, a landscape so dramatic, it could easily be the backdrop of an epic fantasy saga. With its towering cliffs, hidden plateaus and winding paths, it's truly a sight to behold. So there you have it, Scotland's lesser-known treasures that are as diverse as they are delightful. From magical waterfalls to ancient stone circles, to gardens that are more than just a bunch of pretty flowers, Scotland is bursting with wonders waiting to be discovered. 
Phew, Scotland, you've got more hidden gems than a pirate's treasure chest. We've taken a spectacular journey together, unearthing treasures that are often overlooked in the rush to the usual hotspots. Each of these places carries a unique charm, a whisper of Scotland that beckons you to explore, to experience and to immerse yourself in. So go on, venture into these hidden gems, and you'll realize Scotland isn't just about the famous Loch Ness or the bustling Edinburgh. It's about these lesser-known places where you can truly experience the soul of Scotland. And remember, in Scotland, the only monster you need to worry about is Nessie. And she's pretty friendly once you get to know her.